What is the first thing that comes to mind when you think about wastewater? Ulk, what? You don't want to know? Think about it. Wastewater contains a lot of interesting information. I will tell you right now. Wastewater is nothing we normally appreciate. But we can learn a lot of interesting information from wastewater. It might not well be known that wastewater carries a lot of relevant information about the abundance of pathogens and microorganisms in a population. Pathogenic microorganisms take their way from human excretions through sewages and pipes uh, into the wastewater basins like right behind me. This wastewater comes from many different places and shows a very nice snapshot of the infections across the population. And here are some facts. Worldwide wastewater monitoring could save up to 1 million US dollars for national monitoring programs, depending on the frequency of sampling and population. One infected individual theoretically is detectable among 100 to 200,000 persons. 2.1 billion people could be monitored globally in over 100,000 sewage treatment plants. Wastewater sampling can also be done in public or private institutions such as hospitals or companies. Let's take a sample directly here from the Kaijin campus. After sample collection, the next step is the sample preparation. A matrix recovery control is spiked into the sample during this step. The second step is sample concentration, which is more important for untreated samples than sludge samples and can be done by ultrafiltration, polyethylene glycol precipitation, ultracentrifugation or other methods. Use the tissue lysis tube for medium or high throughput sample disruption. After homogenization of the sample, we want to extract the DNA and RNA from the different microorganisms. Inhibitor removal technology, power kits, are recommended for rapid and efficient lysis and removal of inhibitors. For sludge and pelleted samples, use all-prep power viral DNA RNA or RNEZ power microbiome kits. Please use the RNEZ power water kit for filtered water samples. Now it's time to answer the question, why is digital PCR such an excellent technology to quantify the pathogen of interest in the wastewater sample? Wastewater is a pretty difficult starting material. It contains a lot of different inhibitors in wastewater, and that's a problem for classical qPCR. In digital PCR, due to the partitioning of the samples, the impact of the inhibitors is greatly reduced. Digital PCR brings one additional advantage, it's such a robust technology, so comparability of results between the different laboratories is much, much facilitated using digital PCR compared to classical qPCR methods. Luckily, there is no SARS-CoV-2 outbreak on the Kaijin campus. But I hope you have seen that wastewater can be a very relevant source of information. Up next in dPCR, absolute not relative, QPCR versus DPCR. Stay tuned. Kyogen. Sample to insight.